I'm just there with Carl Frampton. Are you feeling, Carl? You're good. I'm feeling good. Yeah, um, that was a that was a good press conference. So, yeah, I'm feeling good. Brilliant. Obviously, uh, yesterday uh, a lot of banter was happening on the press conference, and it followed through today. Um, how do you think the press conference is going to go tomorrow? Obviously, in in your hometown of Belfast. I, I don't know. Um, I wasn't expecting them to put the, the questions to the crowd. I think that's probably a good thing to do. Um, obviously, there'll be a, a few people in the audience tomorrow that may not ask questions that people want to um, answer. Um, I hope, hopefully, Scott gets the sort of recognition he deserves and the, a wee bit of applause like I got here today and a, and a warm welcome um, because I think any fighter deserves it. Well, it's well documented that you said, obviously, uh, the only reason why this fight is happening because obviously he's got rigging those all about. Um, I mean, what happened there? I mean, obviously he got his all about. Um, could you just elaborate on that a bit more, why you feel so passionate, why it was un unfair for him to get that bout? Well, I think anyone would feel that it's unfair for Rigo to be... I don't know if he was stripped. What he's, it's called champion and recess. I don't really know what that means. Um, I still see Rigo as the champion. Um, the, the WBA champion um, I think he was very unfairly treated I think uh, Quig was just handed uh, a couple of belts the regular one and then this one I don't think it's very fair at all and obviously so it's well documented that you got a dislike for uh, Eddie Inn and uh, obviously Joe Gallagher can you elaborate on that a bit more Why? why where's the dislike come from I just don't like them don't like arrogance and uh, there's plenty of it with both of them and that's that's it. It's nothing special. It's um, I don't like anyone <laughs> that, are, that is arrogant. So um, that's it. Really, I never have, and I never will. And you said you are the A side uh, coming in. Uh, can you actually see yourself? You're looking around before. Can you actually see more Irish fans uh, than Mancunian fans filling this place yeah. in, in February? Yeah. Um, obviously, because it's a big fight, there'll be Quig doesn't really sell tickets, but because it's a big fight. Uh, there'll be more people come out and, and want to see it and maybe some of Ricky Hatton's old fans will, will come come back out to watch boxing again just because of the magnitude of the fight but um, I have a much bigger fan base than, than Scott and it's it's not just about it's not just about England Ireland here um, this is about Ireland Northern Ireland this is about Southern Ireland this is about London the Scousers in Liverpool the Scotchies people from Wales um, they're all back at me and they all want to see me win. Uh, so it's more than that. They have a much bigger fan base and they'll, they'll let themselves be heard on, on the 27th. So saying that you're the A side, um, do you think you, that gives you the edge going into the fight? Do you think you, you know, you're that good? I think I'm better on them, yeah. Um, I, don't think, I think A side is really all to do with uh, the A side in this fight is who's the legitimate champion and who sells the tickets. Um, I'm the legitimate champion and I sell the tickets, so that's all A side means. But it doesn't give me an advantage going into the fight. But I personally believe I'm a better fighter on in every department. And um, I think Scott's main attribute is his punching power. Um, he's he's extremely dedicated to the sport. He's a very fit guy. Doesn't fight at a high pace though. Um, doesn't do well against people who can box, and I and I can box. Um, so I, I only see this fight going one way. If it's by knockout or a points victory, it doesn't matter. But I, I'm going to win. Uh, obviously, whoever wins um, is going on to bigger and better things. Um, what's what? Who do you want next? I, I, well, the, the, before I ever call myself the best in the super bantam with the vision, I, I believe I need to beat uh, Guillermo Rigondo, and I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to fight him. Um, featherweight's calling for me as well. Um, I would like to move up to featherweight or some big fights uh, on the horizon. Uh, a, a, another big fight of featherweight could be, and it could be quite easily made because both linked with Al Heyman is, is Lee Selby. But you know, I'm not gonna. It's one fight at a time. I want to do a Quig. I want to fight Rigondo, and then we'll we'll think about what we do after that. How do you feel about um, they keep making reference to Kiko Martinez and how you dealt with him? I don't think it matters the, the, the result of the Kiko fight. I think that both of us beat him. Um, he beat him quicker than me. Um, but the, the you know if you want if you want to look at that, the first round Quig had against Kiko, and the two fights I had with him, I never had a round that bad in my life. Well, not in my life against Kiko. Uh, 
So it was a pretty bad first round. I had a bad one myself in El Paso, uh, but it doesn't matter. Reference and Kiko, who who cares? Kiko, I've already beaten him. I, I sorted him out and, and wounded him, and and that's it. Quig can punch hard. He caught him with an uppercut after Kiko rushed in, and that's what happens in boxing. And in terms of I mean, in terms of like punching power, you did it in one punch. He did it, he didn't he didn't he took like two or three, didn't he? Yeah, exactly. You know, Kiko got up a couple of times um, after the after the. Uh, the second round when Quig knocked him down. When he when he tried to get up against me, he fell into the ropes. That's the difference. It was one punch and I took him out. In the first fight, the second fight, he was tamed. He didn't believe he could win. I think he came, uh, he came kind of just tamed and and wanting to get over the line and see uh, and get to the end of the the fight. And that's why I didn't knock him out because he didn't try. So where do you rate Scott Quig upon upon other super bantamweights over him with Gandhi? Uh, I'd I'd say he's probably top five in the world, um, but that that's it really. Rico's obviously top of the pile. Everyone's, um, everyone, no matter what they say, you you can't call yourself the best in the world until you beat him. But that's something I'm willing to do after we sort quick out. Just the last one from me. If you do win the fight, how would that make you feel? It, it would be an amazing feeling, especially in front of so many people, and, and you know, coming away from home to to win such a big fight. Um, it's it's going to be an amazing feeling. We'll we'll party for a while, um, and uh, I can't wait for it. It's it's going to happen. You know, I know it's going to happen. I've um, I've, I've a lot of confidence in myself. Um, I've thought about. I've wanted this fight for so long, and now it's here. It's uh, I just can't wait to get going. Brilliant. Well, we'll be there anyway. Good Thanks, luck man. on the 27th. Cheers, pal. Cheers. Thanks, mate.